talking about people coming out of the closet <laughs> we've got this video courtesy of Stephen Crowder who announces um, to the shock of everybody I guess outside of his social group that he's getting divorced from his wife and I guess I guess this is a big deal I guess it's a big deal because he's a Republican and a Christian and these guys have a weird thing about divorce and they hold marriage up on a real pedestal and maybe getting divorced is seen as some sort of shame but then if you listen to people on Twitter and on the flipping E streets, they're saying that this was always on the cards because people think that Crowder may be gay, allegedly. That's what people say out there. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm not too sure where they get it from. The fact that he looks after himself and looks the way he does and has a particular type of walk doesn't necessarily mean anything. Personally, I don't think so. But, you know, people online, they got a narrative and run with it. It'd be funny if it ended up being true, that people kind of saw it from ages ago. But this is Stephen Crowder essentially talking about his divorce for the first time because there were some other parts of it that were really kind of egregious. Flipping, what's her name? Um, I forgot her name. The flipping Candace Owens. Hey, big up Illusionary Commission. Ego has become bad friends and gay propaganda. <laughs> gay propaganda. Yeah, all right, mate. I'm definitely perpetuating gay propaganda. Little old me. Big up Illusionary Commission. Imagine me. <laughs> <laughs> pushing the gay agenda like what can i what agenda can i push i can just about get my streams to function i can just about get my mic working what propaganda will i push come on mate <laughs> give me a break anyway continuing on this is Stephen Crowder talking about his divorce for the first time and it's interesting he says that another influence in Candace Owens kind of pushed him basically to come out and speak about this which is kind of crazy it's making Candace Owens look a bit nuts Hey, big hey, up we'll crush. I wish your audio and video would have went out for that last YouTube clip <laughs> instead of yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I guess the fans, the stream chatters, the viewers do not like that last video. Okay, noted. Never play Mark E. Miller again on the stream. All right, or I may do it as a troll. One day I'll do it as a troll. One day I'll come late. You're right, Ugh. you know that was a bit of a double entendre there. One day I will, um, I will appear on the stream late, and I'll play that Mark E. Miller video as an intro <laughs> and see how many viewers I I lose. <laughs> anyway, let's hear Stephen Crowder speak about his divorce on this clip here and get his feelings on it and what he thinks. Hey, we'll be on with your regular programming and Nick DiPaolo in third chair in a little bit, uh, but needed to take a moment here to address. Some issues out there uh, that are circulating. Uh, it's never fun. But, um, well, I guess let me be clear here. Uh, I have been living with a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear. 2021, he's been going through the divorce. Divorces are fucking a nightmare, isn't it? 2021 and he's still not divorced now big up illusionary commission sorry i quote you are pushing anti-gay propaganda <laughs> no problem no problem illusionary commission it's all good i push every propaganda we should all love each other no matter what which way you swing everybody gets love in the flipping you know random show stream i welcome everybody from all walks of life i love you all there is no infidelity any kind of physical abuse at all on either side weird flex very very strange flex no infidelity and no physical abuse Whew, good to know <laughs> and no this was not uh, my choice my then ouch. wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore ouch that's gotta hurt right that definitely has to hurt especially when you think of yourself as like an alpha kind of you know badass guy you wear like a gun strap on yourself and stuff. You post videos of deadlifting and or whatnot and all this malarkey. But then back home, your wife is like, no, nah, I'm good on you. You're lame. I want no parts of it. You know, peace out. You know, she's F-R-E-E -E fuck nigga free. <laughs> that must hurt. That must really, really hurt. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. 
what I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. Well, you've got no choice in that, innit, mate? She said bye-bye. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. <laughs> what? So what did he want? Did he want his wife to stay with him by force? Did he want to live under Sharia law or something? That's funny, right? Considering his views on Islam and whatnot. Like, he wanted to basically live in some sort of Christian version of Sharia law where he was basically allowed to hold his wife under against her will. <laughs> She wants to go. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. <laughs> In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. Why is that an issue? Why is he getting upset about that? That's how divorces work, though, no? One person doesn't want to be in a marriage, so they file for divorce. You can have some sort of sit down or you try and hash out your differences, but if you can't, you have to go through with it because one person doesn't want to be in a relationship anymore. Relationship is two people <laughs> we, we're kind of getting an inkling as to why the wife went to leave in it we kind of get a slight idea <laughs> so for well over a year uh well over a year in the best interest as well as physical safety of my children we've decided to keep this issue private and to physical safety of my children going through a divorce why is he being so dramatic what's how what's, what's going to happen to his children if people figure out he's, he's, got, he's, got, he's got a divorce, are they going to come around and Liam Neeson style, you know, in a movie and stuff and come and grab his kids because they know he's not around with his little gun holster on? Come on, Stephen Crowder, relax, brother. It's not that deep. To resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys, what have you, legal jargon. And all this one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless. Completely with... What? Who, who, who blamed your kids in the first place? <laughs> huh? Without fault. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interests, uh, both emotionally and physically, to do so. Now, what's that? Josie said, AZ, did you see the breakdown of Dave? Oh, I see Dark Wave J. Corner and Conservative Superman. Love that. Josie Master, did you see the breakdown of Dave Landau leaving Louder Crowder? No, I don't know who Dave Landau is. Who's Dave Landau? Is Dave Landau, because I, I know there's a cast of characters. Is Dave Landau the white guy with the glasses? Is that him? Did he leave Crowder? The one that's always kind of chiming in in the back. Is that Dave Landau? If it's so, I'll check, out, I'll check it out after this, actually. I'll, no, I haven't seen that video. I'll check it out, though. Now, the other issue is, and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long, um... Many other people knew about this behind the scenes. Oh, okay. Dave Landau is a chubby one. Some other guy. He's the white boy that works too much. <laughs> he's the white boy back there with the... What did what did, what did Ariel say about Chin? He's the he's the, the guy at the back with the with the internet. What what did what did Ariel say about Chin? Do you guys remember? What did he say about Chin? The guy at the back with the internet, the guy in the back with the screens. The guy in the back with the computers. Is that what he said? <laughs> Big up Eric Hawani, man. Fucking G. Some, not all, but some of them in positions of power, influence, leverage. Yeah, that's the one I'm scared. I think, I think it's papers. The guy in the back with the papers. I think you're right. Knew of this. They also knew that the safety of my children included keeping it private. So if you're familiar with the idea of extortion then you know the feeling well. Jesus Christ. Uh, now, some of the... Someone tried to extort him because he's going through a divorce. Honestly, these political, um, you know, these political, what do you call it? Talking heads type of people, these personalities, they are so lame. Such dorks. Like, the fact that Stephen Crowder thought his life was in danger because somebody knew about his divorce is incredibly dorky. The fact that... Um, whoever the person is held that thing over his head is incredibly dorky also these people are such losers man legit losers these threats were so thinly veiled that i'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately 
Stephen has. Oh no, a black woman, a black woman letting us down once again. Candice, what are you doing, baby? Why are you fucking blackmailing? Why are you extorting, blackmailing, or trying to fleece fucking Stephen Crowder? Candice Owens on her city girl time, innit? Like holding it over her, his head. This woman is fucking so nasty, isn't it? <laughs> She's so mean. She's got real strong mean girl energy. Why would you be doing this to another man? Like, <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if it's. I wonder. I'm wondering if it's actually this is a secret because Candace Owens is really mean. But I think if she knew more, hmm. <clears throat> I'm wondering if this is actually a, a kind of misdirect from Stephen Crowder. He's saying that Candace Owens was holding the fact that she knew about the divorce um, thing over his head as a veiled threat. And I'm thinking maybe Candace Owens knows about other stuff that Stephen Crowder allegedly gets up to. And he's afraid that she might say that. So to protect himself, he's kind of using his kids and his family as a human shield and kind of doing a bit of a misdirect. Because this sounds weird. Why didn't she give a fuck about his divorce? You know? Kind of. But yeah. Let's hear Stephen Crow. Let's hear Candace Owens. This is taken from January 24th, 2023. A lot going on. I guess it's the best way to say it. There's a lot going on. And that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. She's so condescending, isn't it? She's so condescending. She's such a troll. <laughs> Pray for him. <laughs> Madam, you're the one ruining his you're the one contributing to like destroying his life and making him sad. Pray for him. <laughs> you're bullying the guy and then you're asking people to pray for him this woman is fucking unhinged sometimes people need a prayer sometimes people need a scripture <laughs> you know Stephen purports to be a christian shut up you don't pray scripture read me a fucking bible verse from memory come on say it say it i am unsure at this moment if if it is my place to say more than that you know, maybe if I feel in further defense, some things should be said. Or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances. Um, Natashki, not being mean, but does Crowder have a little sugar in his tank? My radar is picking something up. <sighs> Natashki, I'm going to say this, right? I think that's an easy conclusion to make. And I think people are running to it because Crowder's a bit lame. So they use that as something to kind of, a stick to kind of beat him with. So it's kind of the it's a it's a it's a maybe more acceptable way of calling somebody gay by basically insinuating they are gay, which is basically a way of saying that they're kind of lame. So whatever it may be, right? But I think it's too convenient of a ex explanation, personally for me. Although I do have to say, when I play that video where Crowder announces, um, actually let me play it where they announce, right? Let's see it. Crowder announces Brian Cannon and those guys moving to his flipping channel. It basically looked like he could be from that community by his walk. His walk alone kind of was giving me that kind of vibe. Let's play the video. Let's see if I can find it. Um, uh, Stephen Crowder. Let's see. Brian Callan announcement. Is it? Let's see. That announcement video for me was a little bit suspect. The way he was walking kind of looked a bit mad. Let's see, yeah, this is the one. This video, right? From a month ago. Just watch this closely and see the way Stephen Crowder walks. It's giving something. Let's see what let's see what's going on here. Okay, Tashki say my radar's nine 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 percent accurate. Again, I don't buy it because I'm oh, I don't buy it because I'm a stalwart flipping contrarian oh actually where's this guy gone i remember him on twitter he was always getting involved in spats cultural war stuff what's happened to this guy is he still around um i don't know his name though he's on there um i'm a contrarian i'm a contrarian so i i don't like to believe the kind of easy narrative that's kind of get thrown out there i kind of want to see it from the other side i think it's too convenient but watch how stephen crowder w walks in this video it's very offensive very offensive let's fast forward a bit Let's fast forward. Listen, what you Let's fast forward. Be you sleep well. Or, I mean, I'm not the truth. 
Yeah, this is it. For folks to fight. Focus on Crowder walking, right? And let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think. For them. It's <laughs> a little bit he's giving like he reminds me a lot of like managers that I've had working in retail at like Zara, H and M, Topshop when that used to be around, Selfridges, right? Managers I used to work with. You know, they had the they had a particular kind of bop to them, right? <laughs> That's what he's giving here a little bit. Look at it. Look at his walk. He's walking now. A little shuffle. Look at his hips. Concentrate on his hip area. Concentrate on that area right here. Concentrate on that hip area right there. See how that moves. Right, left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> you know? There's a little bit of a, you know, there's a little bit of a of a shake there. <laughs> but who knows? Who fucking knows what's true, right? But I think there's something in there. Maybe. Okay. Um, Natashki is saying it's giving alarm bells. <laughs> alarm bells. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to his announcer video. Let's see what he's saying here. Oh, my children have a right to privacy. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should say, uh, Inferences have been more pernicious behind the scenes with demands and threats to use this information that they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife in a difficult. Ah, so you're saying there's other stuff too. There's other stuff going on, not just the uh, the flipping divorce stuff. So maybe there's some truth to this rumors and maybe who knows. Yeah, so yeah, he is. He's jacked as fuck, man. Chase Carl, yeah, he is. He's very, very jacked. He looks like he works out a lot. To be fair, he looks in far better shape than Brendan, which is funny, considering he's not an athlete. Go time that it could be used, knowing. But don't count, don't count. Only putting my children in harm's way. So, to those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I, I don't want to get into details. So this is going to le likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X? person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes, which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. Uh, and it also, by the way, makes me that much more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family, my children, kept their word and used discretion. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, I appreciate it. Won't forget it. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who, despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. <laughs> That's got to be hard to take, isn't it? It's probably better if you just break up because you're not interested in each other anymore or because of infidelity or something, or if, you know, worse comes to worse domestic violence. When somebody decides, hey, I've just had enough of you, that's got to be hard to take, especially when you're this... You're meant to be this badass, conservative, kick-ass type of dude, jacked with guns, with your own show, smashing it in life, and then to go back home and your home life isn't what it should be, that's got to be a little bit hard to kind of, you know, process. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out, and the law says that that's how it works. Now, of course... <laughs> why, is he so, why is he so hung up on the fact that the law allows for people to get divorced even if the other party doesn't want to get divorced like what's going on bro this is giving abubakar like this is this is giving this is definitely giving abubakar like what does he want to do here like chill out brother look i get it there are multiple sides to every story but one thing that is undeniable uh in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that i picked wrong and that's certainly not the fault of my children and uh, I picked wrong, you know. <laughs> oh, God. I will say that what's in the best interest of my children um, is not internet drama, speculation, 
Certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother. And I can't be clear on that enough. Or their mother. So he wants no one on the internet to insult him. And he wants no one on the internet to say anything mean about his kids. Hmm. Good luck. Through the mud. And to anyone who tries it, I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep because I love them a whole lot more than I love you. And I will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children, discussing the divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them. What? So he doesn't want people to discuss it. <laughs> Honestly, this guy talks about everybody else online and now he wants no one to talk about his issues. That's a bit rich. And also, fuck your kids. No one gives a fuck about your fucking kids. Everyone's going to be talking about you. The fact that he keeps mentioning his kids is actually going to put them in more danger than if he just fucking moved on. Why the fuck keeps he keep mentioning his kids? Like, how old are they anyway? Unless they're one years old. Like, chill out, man. It's not that deep. He's so dramatic. He's such a drama queen. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? My kids, my kids. <laughs> Think about my kids. It's like, no, bro. You, your wife's going to leave you. Okay, or she has left you. It's sad. It's quite distressing. I understand this. No problem. But let's let's move on, brother. Let's move on. I'll be handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which I have more than full confidence. So I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in what is obviously a pretty tough time. Damn, man. He's going through it. He's going through it. So, oh, okay. Cool. Crowder's going through it. Um, clearly, he's upset and not happy in the slightest about what's going on. And I guess he's going to have to figure it out himself. But this flipping mentioning of the kids every single time is a bit, a little bit sus for me. I'm not, not too fond of that. Don't sure what's going on over there. But, you know, do what you got to do, I guess, in that regard. Do what you have to do. But it's funny, considering, isn't it? Brian Callen just moved over to Louder and Crowder. Now he's flipping divorce has been finalized or it was already done which I'm not too sure because I saw somebody mentioning that he already got divorced in like 2021 or something or 2022. So maybe it was always it always was a thing, but he kept it private or secret because he wanted to pretend to be married. And I don't know, really strange. But I wonder if he's going to get any advice from Flipping Callan about how to <laughs> about how to handle divorce and move on to the next young thing and stuff out there. Who knows? Interested to see what he does going forward and how his political opponents, especially the guys on the left, are going to address this because they're definitely not going to be kind. They're definitely not going to care about not, you know, saying stuff and, you know, what you call it, commentating on it, which is a really strange thing to kind of put out there in a the false place anyway. But hey, what can you do? Let's check out this thing. Who's this guy? Dave Landau. Let's see what Dave Landau said about Crowder. I don't know who Dave Landau is, to be fair. Maybe if I see his face, it'll make sense here. A message from Woody Wallison. What? What did he say about him? Oh, this guy, this comedian dude. Okay, cool. I I know who he is. There's no. Vi Do you know what the video is called? Was it Was it called him talking about? Did he say leaving Stephen Crowder? If you guys know anything about what the video is called, I'll definitely play it. But I can't see it here on my searches. Which one is it? Dave. Oh, Dave was on Kumia. Ah, okay. He was on Kumia talking about it. Oh, I think I'm a bit cool on that one. I'm not too sure. I want to. I want to check that out. To be fair, the Anthony Kumia guy is a little bit hard to look at. Not gonna lie. So maybe I'll move on from that one. Um, Malice and okay, cool. I'll, I'll I'll prep it for the next show and I'll probably check it out. But yeah, we'll prep it for the next one.